Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and today I'm doing a comparison of ink tents, blocks, pans, and pencils. If you want to see how they work, stick around and see how it all works. I did a test with my ink tents blocks, the ink tents pans, and the ink tents pencils. First off, I started and did a swatch test and I swatched the pencils, the blocks, and the pans. The pencils and the blocks I did dry, and then I did uh, just from the tip of the pencil or from the block with an actual wet paintbrush. So that's why there's two for each one of these. I used as close as I could get to the same colors. The only thing that I didn't have was tangerine in my uh, pan set. So I put mango. It's a lighter orangey color. It's not as deep, but that's the only reason why that is different. Everything else is the same colors. So I used poppy, sun, lemon, tangerine, fuchsia, teal green, bright blue, violet, and ink black. On the pencils, the colors are less intense on this paper. This is 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. It's uh, from Fluid. So that's the uh, that's the paper I used. So everything was done on the same piece of paper. So we have a direct comparison. The brightness of the colors, the depth of color, the le level of pigment in the pencils, it didn't seem to matter if I did it by coloring it down or picking it up from the brush. It's still very weak. I will show you on the fabric what happens though, because there's kind of a surprising thing that happens when you do this on fabric with the pencils. So hold on and I'll show you that in just a second. The blocks. This was coloring the blocks down, just picking it up and coloring straight onto the paper and getting it wet with a paintbrush. And getting it wet with a paintbrush. Then the next level down here was taking my paintbrush, getting it wet and going right onto the block and then painting. Both ways, I get I got just about the same level of intensity of pigment, and it's considerably more intense than the pencils. Although I do notice on a couple of these where I colored, it didn't dissolve as much. So you, you can still get some of the, if you like seeing the marks be retained, after it's dissolved, you can press hard enough with the uh, with the blocks to create that effect. But you can, with enough water, completely dissolve all of it. And then with the pans, I was able to get very lovely, intense color straight from the pan with very little water. So uh, that's my swatch sheet. Now on to the bag. What I did here is this does not have any preparation on the bag itself. I used a permanent marking pen and transferred the design using the Da Vinci Eye AR app. So I was able to just, I drew it up on my iPad and then I was able to transfer it much bigger onto the bag. What I did is I did two petals and a leaf, two petals and the leaves, two petals and the leaves. One was done with the pencils, one set was done with the blocks, and one set was done with the pans. I colored in the leaves first, doing layering of all of the colors dry. Then I wet the colors down. And look at this, the pencils, even though they were wimpy on the paper, on fabric, the pencils were great. I was really, really tickled by this. The pans, nice, intense, lots of color load. And the, the, 
the okay so on the bag here I did it in sections so pencils blocks pan the pan colors are a lot more soft and watercolory I think it's just the nature of picking up the color from the pan maybe the way they were dried uh, prepared whatever it is but very watercolory very soft very very pretty the pencils it's intense it's opaque it's blending all of the things even though they were wimpy on paper the pencils are fine on the fabric and then the blocks the blocks are lovely nice you can get a watercolor effect but you can also get that deeper more intense tone to it a little bit more opaque than you can get with the watercolor effect that you get with the pans the blocks are more opaque than the pans even when I pick up with a brush so if I had to choose one that I would use exclusively I would go with the blocks if you have a very limited budget you are going to get a lot more product with the blocks than you will from the pencils the core is very small the uh, amount of core that you actually get to use is very limited because when this goes down and you sharpen your pencil unless you're sharpening it super super carefully with a exacto knife you're going to lose product every time you sharpen a pencil it's just the nature of the beast you're not going to lose any product when you're using blocks you can also use your blocks as pans by breaking off pieces and just putting them into half pans in a little travel set so I can use this to draw with I can use it to paint with blocks are my favorite let's go on to the video I tested by coloring those sections so let's get started with the rest of the test Thank you. 
I was pressing really hard, I was able to get fairly decent coverage with the pencils. I did not press as hard on the blocks here and I got really nice coverage. It's a little more delicate and I like this look. The pans went on just like watercolor. Not very opaque at all, much more fluidy and watery. I did not get as intense colors with the pans, which was a surprise. Very intense with the blocks, and it is actually pretty intense here because I was super heavy handed and really pressed and put a lot of product on the, the fabric. This was a test. <laughs> And I'm actually really tickled with how this turned out. They all have a place. I think that they're great to have, but if I could only have one, I would go with the blocks. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and remember to go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I want to know in the comments, what one of these products do you like the best from this comparison or from your own ideas? Let me know in the comments below. We'll see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.